Sorry, I thought I heard something. What's going on, everybody? So I'm back on the channel for now. Uh, I decided to create a series. I guess you could call it that. Don't really know how long it's going to be. I mean, I know when it's going to end. It's going to end at the end of this month. Right now, it's June 1st for like the next five minutes because <laughs> it's pretty late. Um, but I've signed up for an 8K running race. Um, and I just want to make a series on me leaning out and transforming for the race. Not that I can't run an 8K. I've never even ran in an 8K race. I don't. I didn't know 8Ks existed. I've ran 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathon, 8K. I think it's like 4.9 or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's not so much the distance that I'm going for as much as it is for the speed. I want to get to where I can average in the sixes, in the six minutes area, even if it's the high sixes. I want to average in the sixes. That's the whole goal of this. So, for now, until the end of June, I will be doing a whole lot more weight training and running than I have been. I'm trying to get in peak performance. Probably the best shape I've probably ever been in. That's the goal. Um, I think it'd be amazing. I want to get as lean as I can, as shredded as I can, put on a lot more muscle in my legs um, to prepare myself for a run. So, with that, um, I guess I could send you all to the run I did this morning. I'm doing everything backwards. I've already recorded a bunch of stuff, but I'm starting out the video tonight, even though I've done stuff this morning and this afternoon and a couple of days ago <laughs> so it's all really thrown off um, but yeah let's go to this morning when I ran well here I am about to go on a run it's Saturday morning 7 45 a little bit later than I wanted to because now the sun's out it's gonna be humid and hot and bleh, whatever so this will be the first run that I do, and then this will be like the staple point of what I need to beat, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll say it like that. So I'm gonna see, hopefully I can go six miles. I'm just, I'm really drained from work this week, but I'm gonna push myself, I'm hoping for six miles. And I'll do it as quick as I can. I don't wanna like, just, barely push and then be like oh okay that's the only time that I have to be because I really want to get in the sixes like average in the sixes by the end of the month for that for the race um, but yeah I'm gonna go run right now I don't carry my phone with me so that's why though you'll probably never see any video footage of me running or anything because I got a Garmin watch so that way I can track it like that and I don't have to carry my phone because I hate carrying my phone when I run it's just an added weight and nuisance to me plus you get really sweaty and you can't really swipe on your phone or do things I accidentally did that one time and called the police by accident because I was trying to just unlock my phone and somehow I ended up calling the police and then it's kind of a funny story because then I ended up trying to hang up real fast well then they called me back and I answered and she was asking if I was all right and of course I was towards the end of my run so I was getting like I was breathing really hard and I was like I'm okay I'm just running away or I'm just running and she's like what where are you running it was I had to explain that I was running on a trail and then my fingers got sweaty and yeah she's like well try not to use your phone when you're running please or something to that effect good times so yeah I'm gonna go run I'll let you on the, oh power save mode uh, I'll let you know the results, where we, where I stand, and how I went, and stuff. Yeah. All right, so done with the run. Definitely didn't go six miles. Uh, turn on the AC. I think it's low. Ran three miles, or five k, three point one, and realized that. I haven't been training like I should. I haven't been running like I should. I should have been running 
uh, a lot more. I'll explain it later why and how much I've been running, but it definitely hasn't been as much as I should be. Um, so I ran three, walked for a little bit, ran half, walked a little bit, ran another half. Uh, the 5K, I mean, I averaged 711 a mile, which I mean, it's not bad, but uh, definitely not the distance I was trying to go for. It's hot, it's humid, and I'm not hydrated like I should be, which I'll talk more about that in a little bit also. But for now, I'm going to go home, shower, get cleaned up. I got some more stuff to do, which I think I'll put on this video. And I'll get back to y'all on all the stuff that I said I'll talk about later. And there you have it. So my running is not really on point right now. Um, a few things have happened since the last video I put out. I got a new job where I now drive a garbage truck. And you're wondering why would that wear me out so much and make it to where I'm not able to run or make me tired. Um, it's because I do something a little differently than most go most garbage drivers, garbage truck drivers don't do ever. Um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I drive and throw trash. Because I work out in what they call the county, so customers are spaced out a little bit more. But I drive, when I get to a customer, I stop, I get out, I throw the trash, I get back in and drive. And I do that for the entire day. And here, I can show you a little clip of what I mean. With what I've been doing at work, I guess I've, sorry I'm moving the camera so much, or the phone, whatever. Um, I guess I have took it as what I'm doing at work counts as running or physical activity. And so I put it off instead of actually coming home and running at night. Big difference between what I do at work and actually running distance. Because what I'm doing at work is pretty good for like if I was sprinting or running very short distances but anything past a mile <laughs> I need to actually be out there and running um, at least three four days a week so definitely gonna get back on that because I was not happy with that run today the pace was pretty good but the distance I, I should have been able to go much farther than that um, and then another thing, I haven't been really lifting weights. Once again, putting that off on the fact that lifting all those garbage cans and everything gives me a good workout. I'm not going to lie, like, it's put me in really good shape, appearance-wise. But I'm neglecting certain areas. It only works out certain areas, so, like, my back isn't quite what it used to be. I think my shoulders could be better. My chest could definitely be better. I need to work out my chest. And I still need to work out. I mean, I just, I need to hit weights. So that's why I needed to clean my garage because I had packed up so much stuff in here and just pushed stuff around and junked it up to where I couldn't even work out anymore. And I have a video on that too, of me cleaning the garage. What's going on? So this is part of the problem is that I haven't been hitting weights at all, or very rarely, and the garage has turned into just a nightmare so I'm about to clean it organize it make room so that I can start working out again because yeah there's just no room at all so let's get this clean right now boom and there you go cleaned it it's organized I can now work out again Got my whole area cleaned up. Got some stuff that needs to go to the trash. Everything else went up in the attic. And I'm happy.
I guess. I don't know, just clean, I swept the floor. I didn't realize how nasty the floor was too, but I cleaned that. The only other thing that I want to do, uh, I mean, I no stop me from doing it today, is just to hook this up, just so I can listen to some music um, while I'm working out. Cause I don't really use headphones or do anything. I just come out here and work out, but it'd be nice to hook up my phone to it and listen to some stuff. So there you have it. I'm starving, I'm so hungry. And yeah, I'm gonna go eat. Okay, so I think that's the last video I'm gonna switch off to. So now you can see in the garage, it's clean. I have everything ready to go, ready to work out, lift some weights. Um, as far as the hydration thing I talked about earlier when I was running, I've been really bad about just consistently drinking water. I've been relying on energy drinks to get me throughout the day, which is bad. I don't even want to mention how many I drink because it's it's not good. Um, so my sister actually issued a challenge between me and her and uh, my parents and some of, well, our family um, to do a 30 day challenge of drinking nothing but water. The only stipulation that I added is that I wanted to be able to add pre-workout to my water like before I work out or even while I'm at work just for that little bit of extra I don't mind the rest I'll do it but I want to be able to at least be able to use pre-workout um, at some point during the day so I should be doing I'll be doing that started today did really well today um, but I'm hoping that will definitely help me with my hydration help me to run longer distance and feel better about it and not feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is like this whole transformation thing. It's not like I'm going from like fat to fit or trying to lose a huge amount of weight or anything like that. I'm just trying to get more lean than what I am because I, I think I'm already pretty lean. Um, but I'm trying to really lean out and put muscle where I need it more so, let me see, I can give you a physique view or whatever, if I can put my phone somewhere. Oh no, almost dropped something. I can't be too loud, it's late. So here, I'll show you what I look like right now. So like I said, I'm, it's not like I'm not lean already, but I could be leaner, um, could tighten up some stuff. I'm not even sure what weight I want to be at. I don't know. Right now it's all, my weight's dropping, but it, I have no idea what I want to be at. I, I really don't. I want to say the high 150s. So like this morning after I ran, I came home and I was at 158.5, but that's completely drained of all water. Oh, excuse me. Completely just like in the morning, hadn't eaten a whole lot, drained of all liquids, 158.5. Tonight, right before I came out here, I mean, it's it's pretty late right now. It's I think it's midnight now or later. Um, I was 165. Yeah, 165. So I'm thinking high 150s um, and lean. I just want to see the striations, I guess you call it, on certain muscles. Um, and I think the lighter I am, the faster I'll be able to run. I need to put more muscle in my legs for sure. I tend to neglect working out legs. I need to do that. Um, but. If you came to this video and you wanted to see, if you thought you were going to see like me losing an incredible amount of weight and transforming myself like in a different way, and that's what you were looking for, that's not really what I'm doing. But I still hope you continue watching. There is, however, somebody that I watch that it has been on a journey doing this. Uh, his name is Angel Menendez. You can check out his YouTube channel. 
it's very encouraging. He's doing a great job. He's lost a lot of weight and he's still losing weight and getting toned, getting a lot of muscle. I'm gonna put the description to his YouTube channel down in the description. Did I say the description? I meant the link, the link to his YouTube channel. Whatever I said, it's late. I don't know. Um, either it would be the link to his YouTube channel or his last YouTube video to upload. Either way, go in the description down below. You'll be able to see him. I hope you enjoy that, Angel. Um, and then other than that, oh, that's what I was going to talk about. So the things that I'll be doing, things I'll be taking while I'm doing this. Um, watching what I eat, sort of, not really, I don't know. Runners don't tend to watch completely what they eat. I mean, you got to eat a lot to maintain and keep up energy. You just burn so much that all you want to do is eat. As far as supplements go, everything I take will be from Edge Performance Fitness. Um, one of the things I have out here in the garage with me, this is m most of what I take, but there's other stuff. So like the peak pre-workout, love this stuff. Um, that is probably the, not probably, it is the best pre-workout that I've taken ever gives me the greatest boost of energy and it lasts the longest and it tastes amazing and it mixes really well with water all the things you could possibly ask for um, that the BCAs that they have out also I tend to mix those together and take them and then also the protein shake that they have which my favorite flavor so far is um, salted caramel love it and also with that if you want to check them out I'll put the link to their website probably like right here somewhere and I'll put it in the description so that way you can actually click on it but if you use code runwalker which I think will probably still be here hopefully I edit this correctly and it's somewhere in here um, use code RUNWALKER when you check out you can save yourself 10% so with that is there anything else I don't know how often I'm gonna upload videos um, it's hard to find time honestly I work a lot and then come home and you know I take help take care of the kids get them to sleep do all that good stuff so I'll try to upload as much as possible. I'm thinking maybe twice a week. If you feel like I need to upload more, then go ahead and comment down below and say so. Um, yeah, if you like everything that you see, um, if you like this video, you should subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments for me to read. I will get back to you, I promise. Um, share it with some people if you think there's somebody who might benefit from watching this and I don't really know what else I feel so rusty at this the last video I made was back in October I think and I haven't made one since ever since I started working again because I was on disability when I started the YouTube channel and I had plenty of time sitting around at home um, the video and then as soon as I went back to work I just fell off so this is me trying to get back into it I figure I'll do this series till the end of the month achieve the goals and then we'll see what happens after that because I have no idea <laughs> so as always I'll see y'all later